I'm John Alexandrov. Our question of the week is, again, somewhat of an intriguing question. And again, this is the answer to this question is going to vary from business to business and person to person. And that is, how do I price the pro my products or my services? How do I generate not only income from that, but how do I properly price them so that I'm profitable and I can continue to grow my business and that I can also earn the type of income that I want to earn and support the people that are working uh, in our organizations. I and mean, that's really kind of what that question is all about. And of course, how you price your services or products is going to vary depending on the industry that you're in. But sometimes people kind of get caught up in, well, my cost to produce this product or service is X. So I'm just going to add something to that and then that'll be my profit. And I can tell you that's a... Oh, in the long run, that can be a very scary way of thinking from the perspective of a business owner because it doesn't mean that you're generating enough profit to continue to grow your business and to sustain your business and your personal life and the lives of your employees and vendors and, and all the people who are contributing to your business by thinking that way. It's, I think it's more important to think of in terms of the value. What's the value that you're providing towards your product or service? So for example, a service. So for example, um, you know, Apple might come out with a new phone and sell it to you for $600. And the cost to Apple might be $100 to produce that phone. Well, they could have sold it to you for $101 or 105 or 110 or 130 or 200 or 300. However, they're selling it to you for 600. Why? Because they know that's what the value is of what they're providing to you. Okay? They know how it's enhancing your life. They know that you can do you can you can uh, actually complete multiple functions with that phone. They know that it's something in today's society that's almost a, it's almost a necessity. Okay? So, you know, years ago having a phone or having a smartphone or having a handheld computer was not a necessity. These days it is. So, Apple takes it all into consideration when they're pricing that product. It's just not you know what it costs them to produce it and then adding a margin to it it's what's the true value of what we're providing to society and are we give, are we getting a fair investment a fair dollar amount in return for what it is that we're providing obviously the answer to that question for apple is yes because i think at this part point it's probably the largest uh, corporation in the world and it's one of the most profitable and has apple has more cash than some countries have okay so I just use that as an example, especially people who are service providers. If you're an accountant or a lawyer or a financial advisor or anyone who's providing a service, some sort of consulting, they'll think, well, my time is worth uh, $200 per hour. Well, you know, why is, it, why is it worth 200? Why is it worth 400 or 600 or 800? Or why couldn't you give a certain piece of advice to somebody that was so valuable to them that even though you know, the advice might have taken you an hour to give to them. Maybe that would, maybe that's worth $5,000 or $10,000 or $100,000. I mean, so I would say don't get yourself locked into, you know, that my time is worth a certain a dollar amount or the product is worth a certain dollar amount. Think in terms of what's the value that the other person is receiving as a result of what I'm doing and think about pricing that way. Now, your industry may not allow you to do that, depending on what industry you're in, but at least I want you to think about that and contemplate that. That's actually quite a bit of what we do in our coaching sessions when I'm working on one-on-one -on -one coaching with my clients. And I continue to you know, push them forward, you know, letting them know the value of the services that they're providing is actually worth more than what their preconceived notion of that was. So if you're having an issue with this, if you're having an issue with profitability, or having an issue coming up with a pricing structure that you should be charging for your products or services, uh, give me a ring, 508-351-6652, and I'll walk you through a series of exercises that'll very clearly help you understand what it is that you should be charging for your services, then help you develop the confidence to ask for it, and help you become more and more profitable very, very quickly. Again, I'm John Alexandrov. You can find out more on our website, REIC Connect. Dot com or go continue to go to our YouTube channel and watch these videos share them as often as possible thanks again for watching make it a great day